Well, I'll, I'll talk about there was sort of, you know, if you're if you're close in the automation space, um, UiPath, Automation Anywhere, Monday.com have built, you know, billions of dollars of market value in mm -hmm. robotic process, robotic process automation. Right. Yep. And so um, huge business, huge market category. AI agents are miles beyond basic RPA. And the fundamental reason why is the textbook def de definition of an AI agent is that it's a piece of software that thinks, behaves, and learns context over time. RPA tools really are effectively software scripts with a glorified if then treat decision matrix. <laughs> exactly, right? exactly. We can train our agents uh, to do things that are so sophisticated uh, because they understand the context of prior conversations and understand the context of, of communication and conversation that it's had uh, in, an in, in an anonymized manner with other individuals. So uh, what that means is the more time our AI agents perform their work every second they are getting better at their job. You can't do that with RPA because an RPA doesn't have a brain. The no. AI agent does. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the key thing that uh, you're, you're nailing that I really like. It's, it's very difficult from my perspective for the average person to, to conceptualize this. And my question, just because I, I think you're from Silicon Valley. I'm, I'm from the world of this space. Obviously I host a podcast about it with, you know, it, I am curious to you, what is the general understanding of what this is like in the SMB world? Like you, you mentioned briefly earlier, and I wanted to come back to this point. You mentioned previously earlier, you had talked with a lot of SMB owners about this subject because obviously you're running a company on, on this now. What percentage of small business owners do you actually think are acutely aware of what 